I am Dr. Pavanindra Lal. I am the uh, Director Professor of Surgery and the Head of the Clinical Skills Center here at Maulana Azad Medical College. How do you set up a skill lab and what are the prerequisites? Well, you need a space for a skill lab, you need uh, the, a certain amount of paraphernalia, you need the gadgets, you need uh, equipment, you need uh, uh, a devoted staff, but mainly you need the person who is going to run the skills lab. That is the most important. So as I told you earlier, many skills lab have been made, but they have closed. They got shut down because there was no one to run this lab. It is a labor of love to work behind this situation, behind such a lab because you need to come. No one is extra working. I am also a director professor of surgery. I am principally a surgeon. I work, I, my job is teaching. I work, my job is research. My job is performing clinical work in the hospital and this is an extra work other than these three works which is given to me by the government and I have opted to take it because I have passion for it. So someone has to take that extra work in the same salary, in the same time, not same time, actually you have to spend more time, you have to come early, you have to go back late. So you have to sacrifice your personal family time to set up these skills labs. So that is the reason skills labs are, are far and few in the whole country. You need people to run them. It is very easy for people to buy space. It is very easy for money to buy equipment. You can just run and set up buildings, but who will run the show? Who will run the courses? So that makes the skills lab a very challenging situation, but more and more youngsters are coming uh, forward for, uh, uh, for such courses. And I'm sure that there will be enough uh, dedicated staff to uh, take up these challenges and make some centers of excellence in various parts of the countries. Another very important part is you don't have to have too many centers because as I told you out of 365 days at least 150 to 200 days the skill lab must be working otherwise the money spent is not justified. So having too many and not working is no good idea. So it is good to have few nodal centers, for example, the capitals of the states can be the nodal points and medical colleges can have small uh, skill center and one of the big medical colleges can have a larger skill center which can be the nodal point for that state or that particular region depending on the number of participants they have. Also one of the courses that we have started recently and I would like to add is the soft skills which is the skills on communication, a very important aspect of uh, skills which is leading to a lot of uh, violence with the doctors, doctors getting bashed up by patients or their relatives because they are not normal human beings. These patients who are relatives who are coming with patients, they are all sick. They are sick because of the sick person they are coming with. So doctors have to be trained to acknowledge that people are not normal, people have got um, they are they are coming in a very stressful situation. They are um, they are having a lot of uh, uh, anger inside them because of the seeing their loved one being unwell. And we need to therefore train these doctors in soft skills: how to talk with them, how to how to take a consent, how to examine them, how to be polite to them, how to ensure that their concerns are addressed, and uh, how to give a bad news how to uh, uh, tell them that something, a report that was done has come out to be as cancer for example. You can't just come out and say, listen your person has got cancer, that will give you a shock. So that's not a good uh, communication skill. So such soft skills are also one of the things that our center has started and possibly we are becoming, we have become the first department in the any government college to start a dedicated skills, uh, communication skills course for its MBBS students. I am very thankful to the Dean of Maulana Azad Medical College which has made all the skills courses compulsory for all the undergraduates and postgraduate courses, uh, postgraduate students of this college and I think we need to emulate this example in rest of the country. So what are the prerequisites for setting up a skill lab? Well I have already told you we need to have a, a space, we need to have a dedicated faculty which is ready to do it and we need to have a dedicated audience which can be trained. So I'm sure these skills lab are a need of the hour because we need to have good, well-trained doctors serving in our hospitals and in our clinical settings. And if these doctors are well 
trained in the skills then they will perform better and the clinical outcomes will improve.